today's workout, we have clutch body shop athlete, professional firefighter, and former NFL football player, Michael Gasperson joining us. And remember, for today's workout and every single workout in the Clutch Life 24-7 Fitness Trainer, you can follow along at home in real time using your tablet, smartphone, TV, or computer. Starting with jogging in place. Michael's gonna get us started. Each one of these exercises in this dynamic warm-up is gonna be completed a total of 30 seconds. And again, Every warm up that you do as part of this trainer should be on a scale of seven to 10, 10 being the highest intensity that you can have. So you want to, you really want to be pushing it during the warm up. We want to get the muscles ready to do work. So just about 10 seconds left. How are you feeling today, Michael? Ready Rejuvenated. to kill it? Yeah. <laughs> Rejuvenated. Four, three, two, one. Good, moving on to the next exercise, jumping jacks. Here we go. So Michael's taking a nice wide stance. Don't half-ass jumping jacks. I hate seeing people at the gym kind of going like this. Come all the way up, bring your feet nice and wide. Good, just about halfway there. Good. It's important that you're really focusing during your workout. Four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna get right into butt kicks. Warm the hamstrings up. Good, Michael, if you can just turn to the side, show the people at home the angle. So his knee is staying right underneath his hips and that leg is just coming right back to his butt and kicking it, hence the name, butt kicks. Good, keeping the upper body nice and relaxed. While you're warming up, you don't wanna be holding your breath. You wanna be breathing, you wanna be loosening up. Good, just about 10 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, Two, one, switching right into a switch kick with arm circles. So he's kicking those legs out, getting those shoulders nice and warmed up. Keep in mind that his arms are just parallel with his shoulders. We're trying to get the shoulder socket nice and warm, get blood moving into all the muscles. Good, five seconds left, four, Three, two, one, moving right into walking high knees. Let's get our hip flexors nice and warmed up. Michael did a lot of these back in his football days. Yeah. There we go. So again, with all of these warm-up exercises, you want to make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight. You don't want to just kind of be throwing your body around. everything nice and engaged. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, so that concludes our dynamic warm-up. We're gonna move right into our stretch series. Perfect, getting right into it. Our first exercise is a seated hamstring stretch. So he is going to sit on his butt. His feet are coming straight out in front of him. Good, and he's just reaching out. And see, he dropped his head immediately when he did these because he knows he's a highly conditioned athlete. You should feel this at home coming all the way down your back and right into your hamstrings. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, again, that's okay. You can always hold on to the back of your calf because by the end of this program, you should be able to get out to your toes. Okay, good, so he's gonna come up, he's gonna shake it out, and he's gonna go right back into that stretch. And again, the reason that we do each one of these stretches twice is because your body's natural response to being stretched is designed to protect itself. So if I was to step out of my car and twist my ankle, that stretch, my body's natural inclination is gonna to be to fight against that. So when we go into the first stretch, you're gonna find that you feel a little bit tighter on that first stretch. By that second stretch, your body goes, oh hey, I'm not injured, I'm just stretching. And so you're able to get deeper into that stretch, which is exactly what we want. Good, all right, come all the way up. Now we're gonna move right into our next stretch, which is a quad stretch, so Michael's gonna stand up. Again, you can also do this stretch on the ground if you're so inclined. He's just gonna bring that foot right behind him. If you can't balance on one leg, that's okay. You can use something nearby to hold on to. Sometimes as your body's getting warmed up, your balance may feel a little bit off and that's completely fine. So again, Michael's keeping that knee right below his hip. 
and his foot is straight back. Again, through these stretches, you wanna make sure that you're breathing, don't hold your breath, don't hold tension in your face. Sometimes I see people stretching and they literally look like, ah! You should be relaxed during this time period. Good, and relax. He's gonna shake that out, he's gonna go right back into it. One more time. The more you breathe through these stretches, the more you're gonna oxygenate the muscles that are about to work, and that's exactly what we want. Also, when you pump oxygen into the muscles, it's gonna help the muscles to relax, so you're gonna get more out of these stretches. Good, just about halfway there on this second stretch. 10 seconds left. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, let's move it over to the other side. And again, when you're going through this stretch series, you really wanna be mentally getting yourself, your head should be in the game. You shouldn't be looking around if you're in a gym, you shouldn't be looking around seeing what other people are doing. If you're at home, you shouldn't be text messaging. This is the time to really set your intention and to get your head in the game for what's about to happen, which is you're gonna give 100% to this workout just like you are with every single workout in this trainer. That's how you're gonna get the results. Good, five more seconds left on this side. You feeling warm? Oh yeah. Good, and relax, he's gonna shake that out. Come right back up. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Good, just about halfway there on this second round of quad stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, moving right into a sumo squat stretch. He's gonna take a nice wide base and just drop your hands right down to the ground. Yep, just let your butt drop all the way down. Michael can get a little wider on this stretch than I was able to during our body weight workout. Good, 10 seconds left. This is again, excellent for warming up and opening up the hips. Our hips get really tight because we spend so much time sitting down. Good, and relax. Just come up, shake it out. We're gonna move right into the next round. Perfect. Again, he's keeping his back nice and straight. He's not bent over everything. He's in the perfect position for this stretch. Good, about halfway there. After we finish with this stretch, we're gonna move right into our upper body stretches. Good. 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, on our feet, right into our dynamic chest stretch. He's just gonna shake out. Again, he's not forcing it and ripping through his body. We're just getting the body nice and warmed up. Perfect. That's like perfect form. I mean, just killing it right out of the gate. <laughs> I got a good trainer. Yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds left on this first round. Perfect. And part of this stretch, you may also feel this in your shoulders, and that's great as well. Good, and relax. Shake it out. Moving right into the next round. Again. You know, so, so often at the gym, I see guys working out and they'll just like pump chest all day and then they never stretch. And that's what really creates that kind of shoulder rotation forward. And over time, that's also what leads to injuries. So with any clutch workout, we always have people warm up and stretch all areas of the body because that's what really is inj it's injury prevention. But believe it or not, you'll also get better results because the muscles are able uh, to have better uh, mobility and range of motion throughout the movement. Okay, good, relax. And we're gonna move right into our across the chest shoulder stretch. So he, Michael's just gonna pull this arm straight across. If you feel any sort of pinching in your chest when you do this exercise, that is an indication that you need to spend more time stretching your chest because as you're bringing that arm across, your chest is actually contracting. And if you feel that chest wanna tighten up, just spend a couple of extra minutes stretching your chest against a wall or however you, you know, against a machine, however you need to do it to make sure you're keeping those muscles nice and lengthened. Good, five seconds left on this right side. Good, and relax, shake it out. Oh, sorry about that, I don't mean to be hitting you. <laughs> Moving right into the next round. 
good. So again, we wanna make sure, you always wanna make sure you're stretching your upper body appropriately. Sometimes people spend time stretching their lower body, never thinking to stretch their upper body. And it's so, so, so important. By keeping those muscles nice and lengthened out, you're actually gonna get better range of motion, better mobility, and over time, that's gonna to lead to greater strength gains. Good, four, three, two, one. Moving over to the other side especially for somebody like Michael, who now has to spend his time fighting fires and carrying around tons of gear and carrying people out of buildings. It's so important to have that flexibility through your upper body. Last thing you want to do is catch cramp in a moment, <laughs> moment like that, right? So it's probably super important for you. Good. Eight seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one good time. So we're going to shake it out and move right into the second round. If you're short on time and you're going through these stretches, it is okay to complete each one of these stretches one time, um, but I always recommend two. But if you are short on time, the most important thing is at least you're stretching. We've got 10 seconds left and we're going to move right into our tricep stretch. Four, three, two, one. Good, and moving right into our overhead tricep stretch. So again, Michael's pulling that, that arm right next to his head. His head is not doing this. He's, his head is in a neutral position and he's just pressing down on that top elbow, top of his elbow rather, which is perfect. So I can see this is also coming down into his lat and that's exactly what it should be doing for you at home. You feeling it? I see a little sweat coming down already. About to go down in here today. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Relax. Shake it out. Moving into the next round. Perfect. Again, you guys, during this time period, you really want to just be thinking about your intention for what today's workout is going to be. I think so, so many times people get to the gym and they get there and then they've got no intensity. Well, that's because you didn't spend time on the way to the gym committing to being intense once you get into the gym and being focused. So take this time and use it to really get your head in the place it needs to be to give 100%. Four, three, two, one. Good, relax, shake it out. Let's move on to the other side. We have just about 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. You know, so often I see people at the gym and they go, you know, how do you stay motivated? How do you get yourself in that zone? Well, the truth is, is that you have to get yourself in that zone on the way to the gym. You can't just show up to work out and be like, oh, now I feel intensity. You need to get yourself in that headspace before you get to your workout. So this is your time to do that while you're stretching. Get yourself in that space to give 100%. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, one, good, relax. Okay, good, let's move right into our iliopsoas stretch. So Michael's gonna put his foot out and now he's leaning right into it up and over his body. Perfect. So again, if you don't feel this, you just need to lean back a little bit more. You should feel this right through your abdominal area, right through here, because that's where your hip flexor, uh, the iliopsoas, kind of lives on each side, except it goes right through the center of your body. So this hip flexor is essential for pretty much all movement. So we want to make sure we spend some time stretching it out. About five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Going right into the round two. Good, and again, on each one of these exercises um, during the stretch series, when you get to that second round, you really wanna try and go a little bit farther than you did the time before. So go cautiously into the first one, find where you're comfortable, but on the second one, you wanna push into it a little bit more. Perfect. Good, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good, moving right over to the other side.
go ahead and relax. Moving right into the next one. And again, these workouts, they're short, right? So often we're told we have to be in the gym for two hours a day doing body building workouts in order to build muscle. That's not true. If you follow the, um, the building program with the nutrition plan, pair it with these workouts, you will build muscle as well and not have to be in the gym for two hours because a lot of people, myself included, I'm short on time. I don't have two hours. So this is actually a perfect program and something that I follow, something that I have a lot of my clients follow as well. But go ahead and relax. All right, great, let's get right into our low back stretch. So Michael's gonna lay on his back and he's just gonna cross one leg over the other. Yep, and just twist down, perfect. Yep, and again, he's keeping his upper body nice and relaxed. Again, you don't wanna have your arm kind of sneaking up. I see that a lot. You really just wanna stay in a completely neutral position. And it, while you're in this position, you really wanna be focusing on breathing air right into that low back. Believe it or not, that will help open everything up a lot faster. Good, relax. I'm gonna shake it out and move right into the round two. Good, just about 15 seconds left of this second stretch. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's twist over to the other side. Good, and I can see that this side for him is a little bit tighter, which is fine. A lot of times when you get into these stretches, you will see that one side of the body is uh, feeling a little bit tighter than the other, and that's fine. That's why we're going through the stretch. So if you feel that one side has, needs a little bit more attention, don't be afraid to go through the stretch even three times. Good, five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good, relax. Now our body will do really funny things. Because we spend so much time sitting down now, everyone has a side that they favor. So if I'm sitting, my side is my right side. If I'm sitting in my car, I'm always leaning on the right side of my body. So sometimes when I get to the gym, I'll find that the right side of my back is a lot tighter than the left. And that's why going through these flexibility exercises is so important because we don't wanna have those imbalances because that actually changes the way that our body fires while we're doing these exercises. Good, and relax. Perfect, moving right into our glute stretch. So Michael's gonna sit up and just keep one leg straight, cross the other one over his body and pull that knee right into the chest. Last thing we want is a piriformis or a glute to get super, super tight because you know what happens when, the, when you don't have the flexibility through that area of the body is your low back comes in and tries to take over. And that is what will create a lot of problems for you. So with, when it comes to the glutes and when it comes to this flexibility portion of these workouts, you really want to make sure that you are uh, staying focused when you're going through these exercises. Good, relax. We'll go one more time on that side. You know, sometimes I see people at the gym and they're doing stretching, but they're not really doing anything. You should be slightly uncomfortable while you're going through these stretches. You should feel tension in the muscle. That's a good thing because it's that tension that's then gonna get that muscle to relax and lengthen out. Got 10 seconds left. Got five, four, three, Two and one. Good, let's switch over to the other side. For people who have body fat that they can't seem to get rid of, you know, a lot of that, in my opinion, is due to cortisol because we're so stressed all the time, our cor we're cortisol dumping and our body literally is dumping the hormone that is responsible for body fat. So stretching is a great way to relax and the more we can do things that help us to relax and allow our mind to be in a peaceful place, the more our body are, is gonna have the balance hormonally to burn fat. Okay, go ahead and relax. Okay, so go ahead and shake it out. We're moving right into the last round. Ready, Ready to get it done? Absolutely. 
And that's really the headspace that you need to be in. You are here to put in the work because you want a change with your body. And the way you get that change is by going 100%. Three, two, and one, great.